there's a whole like shield uh, line of goblins with spears. You just run right into them. I, well, there's only so many that can be fitting in the tunnel, right? That's true. I mean, they're not. They're not. Well, okay, that actually doesn't make sense. So the images, they're they're, they're coming at us, right? Yeah. No, no, I don't no, think we need to they've move. Fallen back. Okay, that's they've fine. Oh. They're waiting for you. Oh, they're waiting for us. I I yeah, grab Vincent and say, "Let the elves take shots. We don't need to move forward yet." All right. We're doing fine. good. <laughs> I don't I don't want to know what else is in there until we kill more stuff. We're doing good. Feel free to give us yeah, okay. messages. He grabs me and instead of like fighting against it, I accept, you know. So it's so good. Benson like goes for the charge and Tudaga puts a hand on his shoulder and says, Not now. <laughs> yep. And Benson's like, exactly. I got it. Um yeah. So do they take take more shots or what? Uh the goblins inside are looking a little bit worried and you see this one goblin in uh, he's got like a iron breastplate but no other armor on, and a kind of a big oversized helmet, and he's walking out with a battle axe in two hands, and you see a couple other dudes similarly dressed walking up behind him. The the one that walking in front, he's a little bit taller, he's maybe like four and a half feet tall, but he's also like 30 pounds overweight, and for a goblin, that's a lot. You know, he's kind of a big fat goblin, he's like, Rrr. he's got some other dudes coming up behind him, and he starts yelling at them uh, in goblin, and they start to disperse and move back uh, to either side. Okay, but he's standing there in the open. Do we get a shot at him? Uh, he and his his eight bodyguards are there, so the two elves can get shots if they want. All right. Da -da -da. Seventeen. The hit. Seventeen is a hit. <laughs> did she did she hit the big one or the bodyguards? I don't know. She didn't I'm special. hitting the big one. All right. D six damage. With three damage. Three. It tickles him or something. Okay. You get him in the leg and he squeals with pain. Bregor. I'll Suffer shoot a beast. Big. Shooting at the same guy? Yeah, big one. Okay. Nine. Nine. Miss. Okay. All right. Um, so the... Do I get anything that round? Or is my yeah, round? Yeah, we get a round, don't we? You guys were kind of. I thought you guys were waiting. <coughs> Just chilling. Well, I said we were waiting, but I pulled Jeff back. Doesn't mean I can't do anything. <laughs> That's true. Did Was something else you wanted to do? Yeah, I want to cast command on the big one. Okay. Command die. Okay. You cast it, you point at it, and you say die, and nothing happens. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to huck my spear at him. Okay. Roll the hit. D20 plus, 20 plus three. One. 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 Near. So, your spear sails and <laughs> hits the ceiling and then <laughs> flops to the ground. <laughs> All right. And now it's been it's become clear that they're, like, hiding behind the wall, right? Well, yeah, the, the goblins, so the, the guy and his bodyguard had come up to here, and he told the other one, you know, the other one's dispersed when he came, and now he and his dudes are moving off to the right as well. Okay. So all the goblins have, like, dispersed from sight. How many do, did I see, though? Like, am I looking at a room of, of a thousand stormtroopers, or is there, like, five guys <laughs> in there? Uh, there were 15-ish, you know, 15 to 20 that had lined up beforehand, and then that guy and about seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe more bodyguards had come up behind him. The fat one, he had like, you know, ten guys with him. Okay. Uh, but they all dispersed to either side. Well, Shoot it. is there enough room for um, Tugabutt and I to be shoulder to shoulder in the tunnel, or is it just one at a time? Uh, at this point, at this point, you could only do one at a time, but past that, you could do more. But Tuttlegullbutt would have to be on his knees. Yeah, and Vincent, I think. he wouldn't be able to attack very well with his maul because that needs a lot of room to swing, and he'd have the ceiling right above him into his side, so he'd right. get penalties to hit. Vincent, turn... I think at this point, you should go in first with the shield, and yeah. I should I should become the master healer <laughs> and send it very far back. And yell at Abigail, give me one of the smoke bombs that I gave you. All right. I give, I give him the smoke bomb, I guess. Okay, she tosses you one. I'm gonna light that son of a bitch, and I'm gonna roll it in the room. You don't actually have to light it, it's just a, a toss down. No fire needed. Alright, well I toss it like mid-room, not close to the door. So, and like, you're... I, yeah, I, I mean a little bit more shallow, I guess, close to the door. So, like, here -ish? Yep. Okay. And then, uh... I give uh, a little bit of a wink at Tugabut, and I start walking forward with my my shield, my glowing red sword. And I'm gonna just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the base of the tunnel, not into the room, mm -hmm. and 
I'm gonna wait there. And like, it's one of those things where like, if things are coming at me, great, we'll do that. But if nothing's coming at me, then I'm going to take my sword and start jabbing it around the side. Wait, jabbing it around where? Around the side of the wall that they're hiding around. Okay, so they came back here. Oh, they're just back deep in the. Yeah, they're just back into the rooms. They like fell back beyond the site. Oh. So the smoke area will only cover from like here. I mean, the smoke it, it only like creates a maybe okay. a, a ten by ten cube, a ten by ten by ten cube of smoke. So it doesn't okay. fill that much. Well, looking at the geometry of the room, then the smoke's okay. The smoke's filling up that middle area. Yeah, the smoke so will gonna... fill up this area a little bit. So, but if you walk past that, you'd be able to see them no problem. Right. So I'm gonna then like uh, grab tug a butt and motion to the others to follow me, and we're going to go in there. Or, I mean, that's what I'm motioning. They can do what they want. Sure. I'll go in last. Okay. So we kind of get a little bit of smoke that goes, like, this. You know, you cover, like, this area with smoke. Are you are you drawing? Because we can't see it. If so. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. There oh, you no, go. I see it. Okay. Yeah, so that area gets covered with smoke. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm trying to get them to come in with me, and now it's up to them to say whether or not they do something. There we go. That's smoke. So yeah. you, you walk in through the smoke, or just to the front of the smoke, or all the way through the smoke? Well, I need to know what the other people are doing, because okay. I'm not going to just march into a 30-person okay. room well, and just like, What are you doing, uh, Vincent? <laughs> all right, so Vincent starts walking forward. The rest of you guys? I say, you have to remember, there's, there's stuff on the left side, too. If we do this, it opens up. Up with, opens us up to like not a bottleneck anymore. I can just see like Bregor perched up there. He's like, you you have to remember <laughs> they're on the left and the right. It's no longer a bottleneck. And I'm like, hey, Bregor, quit being a bitch. I got this, but I need backup, and you can't shoot from back there. So let's go. I got your backup, bro. All right, following sneakily okay. as always. There's like three about? people. Very yeah, I'm, a, I'm assuming the position on my knees and, and walking through uh, walking through the cave. Assuming the position on my <laughs> knees. <laughs> okay, so we get into that smoky room now. Yeah, and, you guys uh, crawl into the smoky room. Uh, yeah, and you walk yeah, I guess through would it? Be, well, in it. So in the it. idea okay. is we're out of the tunnel. There's four of us in a room now. And now we're choosing two bottlenecks, right? So there's two tunnels that lead outside that room. Okay, hold on. I'm ping where you are. I think we're in the smoke. I will draw it. Are... We have come in... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to drop penis again. I, I circled around Smoky one side. Here. There's two of us here. <laughs> You'll notice this is where the two goblins could be. So we'll huh. come in and... <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice tree you just drew for us, Jeff. <laughs> All right, so it's like me here. <laughs> okay. Anyways, the idea is they now are in two different spots, but those are mini little bottlenecks. So it's going to be like organizationally, me, maybe Abigail, and then Break or and uh, talk about here. Okay. All right, so that's what you guys do. You, so we got Vincent and Abigail. Tugglebutt and Bregor, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you guys come into this, no problem. Once... Uh, yeah. Actually, that's you can't see much more than that. Um, Vincent and Abigail, you see about... You see what looks to be like 30 or 40 goblins that are just like filling this area up. Uh, you can actually see further Jeez. now that you're that far. Where's my vision? Show me vision, 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 reveal areas. You can see down to like here and out to here. You can just see this whole area. All right. Um, I guess at least Abigail can see that with her elf eyes. Uh, I tell them what I see with my elf eyes. Yeah. Bregor. Freaking, come on. Stupid program. There we go. Brigger, you can see up to this now. Um, and as you guys walked in, you could see a little further here. Mm -hmm. So, Vincent and Abigail, you see about, as I said before, 40, 50 soldiers 
and a whole pack of wargs, maybe about 10, 10, 15 wargs that have been, the wargs have been like pushed back over here and you notice there's some spikes and there's like a little kennel back there. Um, again, Sorry, there's like- Sorry, what's a kennel? A, a holding pen for dogs. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, and over here, Tugglebutt and Bregor, you see the, the fat goblin and his uh, backup guys, all with their battle axes and like breastplates. And then you see maybe six or seven other normal soldiers, and then just like a huge ton of women and children that are all like been pushed back and cramped in like these ridiculously close quarters. We're talking in the hundreds of women and children, mostly children. Hey, Vincent, we got about a hundred over here. What do you count? <laughs> Plenty as well. And then I'm going to unsheath my uh, other magical sword and toss it at um, Bregor. Okay. Okay. Are we fighting? Yes. All right. Obviously. Let's do this. As long as we bottleneck him, we're great. All right. Yeah. If you guys fall back, yell at us. I need to go yep. first. I need, okay. I need more than enough time to get through there because, yeah, I point to the um, ground. <laughs> so the, the goblins are all pretty wary. They're they're looking at you guys and they're kind of they're not really doing much. And then uh, on the side first, uh, Tugglebutt and Bregor. I picked up my spear when I went through the, the tunnel, by the way, too. Okay, Tugglebutt and Bregor, you hear the big fat one yell something, and the six remaining the six non uh, armor like guys with battle axes yep. grab their spears and they all just hurl them at Bregor. Oh boy! Three, I duck. <laughs> Six. One of them hits you. I mean, a bunch of them hit you, but most of them just like hit your armor and fall off, doing absolutely no damage. Um, one of them actually strikes you for one damage. So one of them like flash wound and like cuts you a little bit. All right, so if they're not charging... So then are. what I do is I put my finger up, grab the blood off of his, and put it underneath my eyes <laughs> and prepare for fighting. Okay, so that's what happens on that side. Um, Vincent and Abigail, when you hear that shout, you hear you hear these goblins step forward and make this noise, and then the ones that you're looking at kind of like glan exchange glances, and then they take their spears and throw them at you guys. So you get... Um, Abigail, you have ten goblins throwing spears at you. One, two, three, Jeez. four, five, six. I don't have enough d20s. Oh, it's getting worse and worse. Seven. Insta-gib. Insta <laughs> Abigail, your AC is... It's like 21 or something. Holy crap, your AC is better than Bregor's? <laughs> it was 20 or 21, it was super 20. high. Yeah. yeah. Next. Um, Abigail, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's get thrown, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so 10 spears fly at Abigail, and she just kind of like ducks and dodges, and she's ridiculously... <laughs> Vincent, you realize she's dodging better than she's ever dodged in her life before. <laughs> A couple, she doesn't manage to dodge, but her elven chainmail just like you know, keeps him from actually damaging. Neo her. comes in from nowhere and just goes, "Whoa!" <laughs> yeah. Um, <Mind> kung fu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Vincent, you also get about ten more tossed at you. Did I take damage or no? You took no damage. You missed you ducked, or blocked all of the attacks. I point at them and I'm like, <laughs> um, and same thing for you, Vincent. Yeah. So cool. just like. <laughs> All these goblins wait, and then they all throw their spears at you guys. And you know, Vincent, you just put up your shield and like block a whole bunch of them. Abigail, you, you know, you do the like falling back matrix thing. Spears fly over you, uh, and that's what happens for the goblins' turns. <sighs> Is there any in reach to take a sword swipe at, or no? They've all they're all standing back a little bit. What about Is that all their side? spears? Um, no, there was twenty of them. There's like forty or fifty in that room. Some of them have maces and shields. Okay, so what we're going to do, Neil, then, mm -hmm. is we're going to hide around the corner until they come in. <laughs> and because I, I understand that, like, okay, we're facing this room. They're all, like, cowering, and they throw spears. But we're not having a weird Mexican standoff. It's like, 
if no one's I... going to walk, we're just going to kind of back up and be around the corner and then, just, you Let's know, just wait to the hear the sound guys. of 50 pairs of feet start walking through a tunnel. Like, Okay. Right? I'm going okay. to that little nook right there. <laughs> All right. Tuttlegub, you back up to there. Bregor, what do you do? Um, I am going to shoot a, a shot at the big goblin. Okay, so you drop your sword then? The magic sword that Jeff handed you? Or do I have to drop it? Can I just... You yeah. don't have a sheath. You Your current sword is in your sheath. He just tossed you a sword. <clears throat> you don't have any place to sheath it. Can I replace it? So you take out your old sword, drop it, put your <laughs> magic sword in the sheath... And then, and then take a shot. That yeah, seems very. Everyone standing around, he could just lean his sword against the wall. I suppose. <laughs> just, like, like, well. <laughs> just slowly put yeah. it next to the wall. <laughs> like ah, very good. There, there. Weirdest battle ever. He's like, <laughs> well, right. I mean, they're just kind of standing back, so I feel like I have some time to. You have a little bit of time. So do you sheath it, or do you put it against the wall, or do you drop it? I'll, uh, I'll put it against the wall. Well, do I have enough time to? Put my old one against the wall, and she. Yeah, I mean, because you have your sword out right now, so you yeah. could, with your other hand, take out the one sword and set it down, and then put this one out, and then pull out your bow. All right, That's I'm gonna exactly go for another sword, and then just throw it at the goblin and say, "Fucking!" Go. <laughs> you pick up the sword and hurl it at them? No, no, no! I'm not actually doing this. I'm okay. Kidding. Okay, so, so I have what's that guy's name? Sir Lightblade. It, Light his Light, his sword yeah. is in my sheath, okay. and I'm shooting. At the goblins. Okay. Um, Tudagub, have you moved in that to that cranny yet? Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm going. Okay. Hopefully, I'm so there. So as you start, re uh, you know, you sheath your sword and you start reaching for your bow, the fat goblin yells something, and the goblins with battle axes start charging at you, like mid switching of weapons. Um, they can fit three to a square, so three of them run up to you because they're small little critters. And they just start, like, wailing on you with their battle axes. And they do absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> they, like, they come running at you. And I've you just, like, take them a few well. steps back. And they, like, swing wildly in front of you and miss by ridiculously large margins, actually. <laughs> They're like three stooges. Like, they clang around and, like, yeah. yeah. So do I get a shot off or, or no? Um, no, I mean, you managed to get your bow out, but now that they're... I mean, you'd have to back up to get a shot without giving them attacks of opportunity against you. I can't attack these guys, right? Because I backed up in on the corner. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, let's at the same time flip over. So, um, Vincent, you back up, right? Just around the corner. I mean... You're just around the corner. Abigail, I'm not, like, 10,000 well. feet away, yeah. Sorry? Did you back up to the... T uh, out of the cave or deeper into the cave around the corner well i'm pretty much with the party but trying to be able to take a shot yeah but you're standing here vincent fell back to over here so do you okay. stay here or yeah, do you... yeah i fell back with him okay so you go back here as well and okay. i take a shot and brigger is here you take a shot uh do you take a shot at these guys or at these guys do you take a shot at brigger's dudes or your dudes uh, the dudes that are closer to the party? Uh, irrelevant. They're all about the same distance. I'll take the ones, like, I don't know how to ping. Those. Those, okay. Uh, roll to hit. 17. 17 is a hit. D6 damage. 4. Okay. You shoot one of the guys with a battle axe. Uh, and he... Oofs, in pain. So, like I said, I was waiting to hear if something was coming down our tunnel. Is, are they charging from the other side, too? You haven't heard anything from that side yet. Um, so, Bregor, you were backing up or not backing up? What are you doing? Um, yeah, I was, I'm was. i backing up, I guess, back towards this this way. Okay, so you Very. back up. weird. I can't select those things anymore to move them. That's fine. Okay. I can't delete them either. Interesting. Did it lock your Chrome? <clears throat> yeah, something happened and I can't select anything. Whoops. 
That's bad. Oh, it's because I'm using the wrong freaking tool. That's why. It feels foolish. Gotta have the right tool for the job, Neil. I know, seriously. Yeah. Hide, hide, hide. Who cares? Um. Okay. So, Bregor, you back up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Tadagub, you duck into this cranny as much as you can. And, Bregor, you take a shot at the guys that had just attacked you. Yeah, the one that Jin... Okay. Uh, Roll the hit. D20 plus 6. Yes. 18. 18 is a hit. D8 plus 2? Yeah. 4. Okay. You shoot him through the steel breastplate, and he kind of gets his eyes go big for a moment, and then he topples forward. Oh, we can do this. <laughs> That's not too um, nice. The, the fat one behind <clears throat> yells uh, something in Goblin, and the remaining, his seven remaining bodyguards start charging forward. And Vincent, you hear a whole the pounding of a lot of Goblin feet from the other side. Uh, as a great many Goblins spill forward and try to surround you all. All right, look, before this Whoa. happens, can I get across to the fucking party now that I'm stranded over here on the lonely <laughs> island? Uh, but we'll also to see if you can do it or not. Yeah. The second I heard movement, I'm gonna go clog up that hole. That's what I was waiting for. So it's okay. not like I don't. I can't imagine 50 of them sneaking up on a guy that's waiting for that sound. So. Yeah. I mean, you're waiting. They're waiting. You guys are about equal equidistant from that hole. So we're just gonna roll initiative to see who manages to get there first. I'm rolling it. Because you guys are equidistant and Fuck they it. went first. Yolo. Six. Six. Party goes first. Fuck yes. All right, I'm running to the other side with my party. Okay. <laughs> Vincent, right. you jump up and plug the hole by yourself. Yes. We welcome to up with open you arms. You back up behind Bregor. What? You you bat, you run over to behind Bregor-ish. I'm going to be in the very middle, right where you've got me. The biggest Bregor, circle. Okay. You're the biggest <laughs> circle. Yeah. That's a good representation of his character. Alright, I'm rolling to hit one of the guys. Is there a okay. distinction? Is there an armored one or a non? No, these guys all have maces and sh small shields. Okay, I'm gonna hit one. So it's plus eight now with the bonus. Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen is a hit. D8 plus, and then instead of six, it's now seven. Is it really seven? Hold on, yeah, how does a like, long strength of stone last? So it's plus four, four rounds. rounds. Four it's rounds. Round. Four rounds. Um... No, you're level five cleric, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it lasts eight rounds. Oh, right, right. Sorry. But we've been more than eight rounds, I think. All right, so six. It's powered yeah. up twice now, so. Yeah. That one takes 12. 12. Yeah, you slay him in one shot. And it powers up again. <laughs> <laughs> Your sword now is glowing moderately red. Moderately um, red. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can I take a shot? Mm-hmm. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, at who? Uh, it's a miss either way. Twelve misses. Oh. I was gonna say at a twelveable. No. Okay. You take a shot and it misses. Bregor, what are you doing? I have my rain of arrows spell, right? That AOE where I rain down like a hundred arrows. You forgot to memorize it this morning. Uh. All right. I'll just take a regular shot at the. Okay guys over here. I thought okay. Bregor just got badass, but then I realized that he was just... <laughs> he would have missed that anyways. <laughs> yeah. He would have fucking uh, hit the ceiling and it cast on us or some shit. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Your, it bounces off the chip breastplate of one of the guys. Tudiga, what are you doing? Bregor's arrows shall blot out this sod. How many then people... we shall fight with arrows in the ceiling. <laughs> How many people are over here? How many people are in that little thing? Three? Well, no... How many can fit in that thing? About three uh, goblins at a time can fit there. And how many uh, of the, the steel-plated goblins are there right now? So, so right now you've got, at, right here, yeah. you've got one dead breastplated goblin with a battle axe. That's you've it. got two more standing, like, blocking the corridor with four more behind it. The fat guy with, you know, the tall fat one. you got six guys that have no weapons because they threw their spears already. And then you've got like 150, 200, 300 women and children combination, like, you know, mil like pressed back in the area away from you guys. All right, I'm going to cast hold person right here. 
Okay, on those two. Yeah. Or anything around it, just in that D4? area. Yeah, it's 1d4, I think. Right, for do how many it. people. Two, perfect. Two, okay. Saving throw versus spell. Fail and fail. So those two are held in place. Time for a d20 plus 10. Hold person lasts for two rounds per level, so 10 rounds from now. Leave them be. <laughs> if they die, do they stay held up? No. Uh. They fall down. Yeah. So um, I, I literally say to the party, leave them be and point to where Vincent is. Okay. <laughs> all right. But uh, you so everyone made do? their attacks. No, no, Goblin's turn. So you all made your attacks. Mm -hmm. um, so the guy yelled. His four other bodyguards run up to hit the ones that are standing there and they start yelling at them and pushing on them and, you know, they're confused, basically. He's yelled, the guy, the fat guy's yelling and pointing and there's saliva dripping and he's motioning with his battle axe but to no avail. The guys over here that were charging, the guys, sorry, you can't see my mouse, that were over here start charging at Vincent with, uh, you know, or they, they started charging at you guys, and Vincent jumps around the corner, swings at one, kills him. They pause. Three of them can reach you, because they're pretty small, and they can clam yeah. into there. Um, and so three of them swing at you with their maces. You block a blow with your shield. Two of them hit your plate mail, and none of them do any damage to you whatsoever. Okay. Party's turn. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, I'm going to start hacking at the head of one of the guys. Mm -hmm. 21. Hit. And uh, that clears by more than 8 critical. So he's dead. I mean, no, well, yeah. two, 2d8 plus it's now 7 again? Because it was 6 because I lost the strength, so now it's 7 again, right? Yeah. 19. 19. You killed. Your sword is now glowing bright red. And you've and reached... as strong as it gets, right? Yeah. Yeah, you've reached the maximum. Just plus so. 10 on the next one. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, stupid sword. God damn. Yeah, so your sword will not... Yeah, you've reached... It doesn't go any higher. Yeah. I don't know. So plus 8 to damage, plus 10 to hit is what you're dealing with now. Yeah, no Which, big deal. At this point, I can let you guys have killed enough goblins to know that a everyday normal goblin only has up to 7 life. So... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Abigail, what do you do? I guess I'll... What are we doing, guys? <laughs> We're fucking killing them. We're fighting. All right. <laughs> Does she turn back and go, What are we doing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was like, leave them be. And then I shoot to 20. Meanwhile, we can't hear what she's saying because there's a hundred other monsters trying to cram <laughs> okay. their bodies down the tunnel. What to side are you shooting at, Abigail? I'm shooting at, I guess, this side now. Okay. Because those hit. are the frozen ones, right? Uh, right. So. Uh, hit. Yeah, it was 20. Yeah, roll for damage. Just 1d6? 1d6. 1. <laughs> 1. Okay. You do not kill the goblin. Uh, Bregor. Alright. <clears throat> I'm attacking on the, the left over here. Hit with your bow again? Yep. Okay. Uh, that clears by a bunch. That clears by 12, and you rolled a natural 18, so triple crit 3d, or double crit 3d, 8 plus 2. 10. Kills another goblin. Guys, we've drop. got 100 more to go. Don't worry about it. Two of them drop. Yep. <laughs> so two are dead in front of Vincent. Um, Tadagub, what are you doing? Can I swing at anything? Is there something Vincent's over here? Vincent's blocking your way. And also, your maul is really not meant for close combat like this. You can't even raise it over your head. All right, I'm going to propose the party. Can I go outside and sleep? Can you handle this? Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm just going to not do anything this round. <laughs> Why don't you just sleep right where you're at, then? Yeah, feel free to sleep right here. And we can kick you if we need to wake you up. Neil, would this work? You can't sleep in combat, and you can't sleep on command. Damn. Remove so. remove your armor. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'll just fucking... No. Make a nice little body pillow with, like, the warm hug. I'm just going to sit down there. and start praying to Jexel. Okay. 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 Um, goblin's turn. The, the armored ones have had enough. 
they push their friends over onto their faces and spill through the gap. The ones that Bregor or that Vincent was fighting how, start to fall back immediately uh, and just kind of disappear. I mean, not disappear, but they fall back away from Vincent, so they're out of sword range. The ones that pushed their friend over pour in and surround Bregor more or less because there were four of them. Yeah. So they come and they completely surround Bregor. Well, not, I mean, not completely surround. There's one in front, one on your side, another one on your side, and one kind of at your back. And they all hack at you with their battle axes. Oh, and boy. you have 19 AC, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like you're wearing a quarter plate. <laughs> and you have some... You're wearing full plate, right? No. Oh, yes, yes, because he's yeah, wearing, wearing right blades armor. Yeah. Yeah. So they hack at you and just, like, keeps bouncing off of your armor. These goblins can't muster enough strength to get through. So my room all backed away, is what you said? Yeah, they backed away from you. They're terrified of you. The whole fucking room backed away from me. <laughs> Actually, that's... No, the ones that were in front backed away. They see the glowing Did others step like, forward? Geez. No, no one stepped forward. So not all of them had charge. A bunch of them ran forward. And then you came in. You, like, hack one. You hack another... Brigor and Abigail shoot one, and the remaining ones in front like quickly stumble backwards to get out of the way of your sword. Um, the guys on the right side that had thrown their spears run up and pick up their spears again. And the fat one over there uh, is just standing in the back yelling and screaming. There's still spit flying everywhere as he's yelling at people. Um, <clears throat> player's turn. So I, I have how many goblins around me right now? You have four. Okay. Um, One of them can, is directly in front of Tudagub as well. Can I do an attack and then a move? Yes. Okay. I want to. I want to use uh, Bright Blade Sword. Okay, you're gonna have to can drop I, your bow to do that. Can I just put the bow? Look, in my Neil, back? it's not something he's not used to, man. He's, yeah, dropping <laughs> bows is really good at. I just want to put it over my do back. That? I don't want to drop it. Uh, no, because then you're like in the middle of combat and you have to like stop to put your bow around your shoulder. The attack of opportunity uh, mm. arises. Okay, then what I'll do is I'll just I'll just back up and then I'll shoot my bow. Okay. Um, whew, that's not right. You can barely. Abby's blocking your way. You can't really back up anywhere. Okay. But if I swing the sword, you pussy. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? What if you duck? He can't walk over you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um. Okay, so you're saying I can't back up far enough to get a shot off? No. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna... Okay, for my turn, I'm just gonna put my my bow over my shoulder and pull out my sword. Okay, so that gives them an attack of opportunity while you put your bow away. Which is completely wasted. While they all, like, beat on your armor and still not manage to get through. Yep. Um, you could have... Okay, uh... The other ones backed away, didn't do anything. <clears throat> Players, uh, no, no, sorry, who else hasn't gone? I still have a turn. Yeah, none of yeah, us have gone sorry. except Ryan. Except for Ryan. Go, everyone else, what do you do? I'm going to swing at one of the, the one closest to me. Okay, you're going to get a penalty of two to your attack because you can't swing overhead normally, so just a d20. Oh, just a d20, okay. 13. Is it a hit? No, these guys have... Oh, no, his, back, his side is two. No, that's a hit, because you get plus two for the back attack. So it's actually 15, and it's a hit. All right. 54 for damage. For three. Three. Okay. <laughs> uh, Vincent? Uh, are they close enough that I can just go over and cut one's head off and then turn back to the you, hole? I mean, if you walk forward maybe 15 feet, you can swing a Oh, one. it's 15 feet? Yeah, they backed up a lot. I think he means the ones that I just swung at, not the ones... Yeah, the ones in the room. Oh, yeah, you could turn around and walk like five or ten feet forward and take a, a swing. Okay, and then I'm going to... Like, it's one of those things where it's like I attentively murder one of mm -hmm. these things, but I'm still watching the whole, so... Okay, D20 yeah, so you... plus ten. Yeah. Well, only a fifteen. Is a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, D8. it's plus one for flank attack on this, so it doesn't matter. Sixteen. D8 plus, it's now... Was it eight last time? Eight. D yeah okay so plus eight. Yep. Well yeah. he's dead. Doesn't matter. It's kind of cool to look at that because it's <laughs> one away from a perfect kill. <clears throat> D eight plus eight. Yeah I did it. It's oh I'm sorry fifteen is the damage. Sorry I was 
That was the same attack roll. Yeah, you, the one that Tudagub just cracked, you just slice his head off and it falls to the ground. Um, this is what happens if you keep fighting us. I don't, I Abigail, really don't understand. Do do? <laughs> <laughs> D20 plus 6, I guess. At what? That's what I do. I'd like to take a shot at the big one. I don't like him. Okay, you can get a shot at him still. 26, take that mother... <laughs> <laughs> um, that clears by 11, Infinite so that's crits. a double crit. Or triple crit, double dam, Double crit, Holy triple damage. Shit. Wait, so what do I do? 3d6 damage. 3d6. Just for fun, it's oh, absolutely what? obliterated. Oh, 3d6. 12. Yeah. Nice. So the big fat one, you shoot through the throat and he just topples backwards. <laughs> uh, what other goblins do to respond to that? Nothing? Oh, is everyone in your party gone? Yeah. Okay. So the bodyguards hear him like choking and gasping while he dies. You know, they take a glance back to see it. They're pretty pissed. They continue. Two of them turn. Well, one of them can only actually hit Tudagub at this point. One of them turns to attack Tudagub. Two of them continue attacking Bregor. The guys that picked up their spears are going to throw them just into your fray. I'll roll randomly to see who they're trying to hit. Um. And the ones that were behind that Vincent had cornered, cornered with the wargs don't do anything. So two attack Brigor. They both hit you. Somehow. Well, I know exactly how. But they both hit you for D8 damage each. Uh -huh. Brigor, you take 14, 15, uh, 13 damage. Damn, they rolled well. Yeah. So, from 32, you are down at 19. <laughs> um, the spear throwers, there were six of them. Two, three, four, five. What's the other one? I had another d20. Uh, six. Spear throwers, two critical miss. None of the other ones would hit anybody. Critical misses. <laughs> are so bad. They hit their allies in the back. <laughs> um, four, four, five, six damage, which brings him to two. And you've killed one of those. There's only two. So they four. killed one of their own? Yeah, they ended up killing one. Uh, no, not killing, but damaging one of their own. Oh. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and then you guys hear uh, from down this way, you hear an echoing voice in Goblin say something and the, the sound of more people coming in as reinforcements. Eh. Your guys' turn. Infinite Goblins, guys. <laughs> okay, so there's still some around Bregor, right? Yeah, bregor has got three more on him. And the others have not come through that hole that I've been watching? No, they haven't been. But you're then still I'll... kind of half guarding it right now. Yeah, so I'll take another swing at one of the ones that's around Bregor. Okay, you got to step a little bit closer this time. So you step closer still and get the swing. Yeah, and 20. And that does not critical, but it's a hit. It just dies. Um, yeah, actually, they, they don't have any more life. D8 plus So you eight. hit him. Yeah, 12. it dies. You just, you know, hack it to bits through mm. the chest. There's two standing in front of Bregor and two uh, ones that are still inspelled by JP that are face down with their axes in their hands. I um, am attacking with Brightblade Sword. Okay, roll the hit. It has a plus two bonus. So, Ryan, long, uh, long sword, D20 plus five. Eleven. Eleven is a miss. You glance off the armor of the breastplate of one of them. So Ryan's in full plate, right? Ryan's in full plate. I'm gonna do one of those face massages and uh, heal him up. <laughs> okay. So you like grope around his body and massage his face while he's fighting. Yep. Oh. Four, Four nine. Ooh. Yeah, There's no bit. plus one on the light heal. Oh, that's a D10. Sorry. It's a medium heal. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-eight HP. Thank you, JP. I mean, is that a gub? <laughs> That's his. All in name. their days where 
Yeah, that's his secret name. Um, that's his code that's name. The, yeah, that's the name we gave him. Abigail? Uh, Alright, I guess I'll take a shot. An epic shot. Of 26! <laughs> Jeez. I'd like Were to you kill shooting many at? people at once, please. Yeah. You're like, shooting at the people that are still attacking Brego, right? Yeah, but can I kill them like all with one shot? Like bends They're around. not lined up in a row. Sorry. How about people behind him? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oh man. They're too, there's no good crit. shot though, Abigail. Don't worry. But it's a very good shot. You clear by 11 to double crit, uh, double crit, so 3d6 damage. 13. 13, which kills another one. I destroy his brain. Yeah, there's w only one left in front of Bregor, and then the two frozen ones. Um, goblin's turn. The one left in front of Bregor backpedals like no other does not see oh, his comrades behind him trips over them oh my god oh my god um and i don't know trips over and tosses his weapon way behind him completely losing it so he's sprawled out on his back on his comrades his battle axe behind him the six guys that had thrown their spears have no weapon one of them goes and picks it up the people on the other side who still can't see what's going on because you guys are blocking all their vision range, finally see an opening and move in to take it. Meanwhile, the guys from below that you haven't seen yet rush forward, and there are seven coming at you. Um, they just look to be normal dudes? No, uh, they have... Six of them have uh, breastplates like the other guys and a shield... But in their other sword, they have uh, other hand. They have a long sword, and one of them, uh, one of them just has the the breastplate. But he has a long sword in one hand and a short sword in the other, and he's got a hat with a fancy feather coming out of it. And he seems mm. to be like growling and shouting at people. And this guy is actually like, you know, almost five feet tall. He's like four eight. He's like a big goblin, and he's not fat. He's actually in good condition. I'm gonna run to that one and take a swing. He's behind his other dudes. I'm not going to do team. that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to kill so, one of the ones that's in front of him. I've, I've, I'm actually calling my shot, like I'm pointing at him, and then I'm stepping forward like gangs of New York, and I'm murdering everything in the way. Okay, but it's not your turn yet. <laughs> well, just kneel, okay? Cue that like, action I up. To, I was trying to Mentally. say that, but you know... <laughs> I was trying to say. So the guys come from the left pour in. They, your guys were kind of back to them at the moment. So they get in, they can slip behind Abby even. So just by sheer numbers, they run in. They get three behind Abby, two behind Tudagub, and two behind Vincent. Um, so the three that are standing actually directly behind Abigail make attacks, and since they're behind you, you can't get your dex bonus. Aww. Which brings your AC to 16, and which means they all still miss you. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah. The two behind Tudagub. Oh, no, actually, one of them did hit you, because they, they get a back attack bonus. Ha uh, So he hits you for, wrong die, for three damage, Abigail. Oh. You are at... 18. Two attack Tudagub from behind. One of them, no, no, because it's bright light, so they get a penalty of one to hit. Uh, both of them miss you, Tudagub, and two of them attack Vincent from behind, and both of them, one of them misses, and one of them bounces off your armor from behind. Okay. The, the guys below come up, and there are, there's six of them. Three of them get your, your flank. Well, two of them get your flank, one of them gets your front. And the others what? start spilling out toward... So we got one guy behind you here, one guy behind you here, then one here, one here, and one here. They move up, and they get their attacks. One of them hits you. Plus two to hit. You, you are right-handed? Yep. Okay, so your shield's on your other side, so you don't get shield bonus on that side. So two of them hit you, actually. And you take a total of nine damage. Oh. You were at... That was 
two erased. What the hell were you at? I was full health. You were at full health, yeah. Okay. So you take nine from 23, and you do 14. Um, the, the third one that was standing in front of you missed you, and three more get up to Bregger, but they can't move that far and attack in this round. So now you guys are completely surrounded, and they have a, like a huge concave. Think Zerglings against, I don't know, I guess you guys are zealots in this case, except for Abigail, who's a stalker. <laughs> I'm actually a the... Colossus. Okay. For this fight. <laughs> I don't know. Something like can, that. Can we do cleave attacks like a any kind of AOE? Um, not typically, but considering the, how many enemies there are, how closely packed, and how much weaker they are than you, mm -hmm. I'm going to say if you want to make a cleave attack, you get minus two at the first target. If you hit it and kill it, you make a re-roll at the second target at minus five. 